Hello. Oh, geez, that camera's down a bit low today. <laughs> oh, you're still listening to me through the bloody camera because I still haven't got my microphone. It was supposed to be here on Tuesday, uh, like a week ago. Tuesday, because today's Wednesday, so not yesterday, but a week ago. And yet he only posted it yesterday. So I'm a little peeved. Oh, so anyway, so yeah, so still using this but anyway there's not much I can do about it getting cranky is not going to change it so all right today I'm making something a little bit different I'm doing a gardener's mechanics soap uh, I've got a whole bunch of fabulous things to put in here I've got some pumice and some bentonite I'm going to put some kaolin in as well and I've got some ground poppy seeds which looks like ant poo <laughs> which I've said on my other video, but it's just not as rough as poppy seeds. I, th I find poppy seeds to be too scratchy. So, so yeah, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use the ant poo. You know, it'll, it'll give it a little bit of interest as well. So, yeah. So, all right. So I have my oils all mixed up here. These are different to what I normally use. I, this is very high in coconut oil this time. So it's got a, a cleansing rate of 21. I mean, and your top... In, in your uh, range is 12 to 22 so this is 21 so it's fairly cleansing which if you know if you're going to try and clean oils and dirts and whatnot off your hands you want something that's reasonably cleansing so so yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm still making goat's milk I figured I may as well because I like goat's milk so um just wanted to show you these as you can see I've just opened these um I have so much trouble finding gloves that I like and the one cheap ones from Kmart suck honestly there's just shit seriously so I found these today in Coles and they're green <laughs> um, they're not powdered so they're a little sticky but I don't like the powder because I find that the um, glove slides around well, like when you, you, you can hold something but your fingers will slide inside the gloves when they're powdered so yeah so these are good they smell funny <laughs> so if you get these ones they're the aloe vera ones just be aware they smell weird so yeah so alrighty so let's get started oh yeah I'm gonna I've got a mix here of um, lemon myrtle mandarin and a little bit of eucalyptus oil so not a fan of eucalyptus oil but a little bit is not bad um, but I love the, the lemon myrtle and the mandarin. This lemon myrtle is a locally grown, well, it's not grown, you know what I mean. It's locally made. So I really like using that. Alrighty, so let's get stuck in. So what do I need? I need my goat's milk, which we will chuck in now. I might put the fragrance in as well now because... Um, Actually, I've pretty much probably put everything in now, I think. Because, um, yeah, I could, couldn't I? I could do that. I think I might. <laughs> everything except the lie, of course. All right. So I haven't, I've not made one of these soaps before, so I don't know how much to put in. I'm just going to guess and see how it goes and if it's good it's great if not I won't put that much or I'll put more so but you know I've watched a whole bunch of um, videos and seen how much everyone else puts in so so I'm doing four tablespoons of pumice or volcano as I like to call it <laughs> my son thinks I'm weird which he's really not that far off and I'm going to do I've got three of bentonite on there but I might just do two this stuff's not the cheapest and I might chuck in one of kaolin where is the thing here it is to go with that I also don't know how hard this is going to be when it um when it's ready to cut so and I think I'm just going to chuck all of that in Why not? Ooh, there we go. Look at that. There's a mess in there now. Ooh, awesome. 
Let's give that a whiz and see what happens. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Now I knew it was going to go, oh yeah that's gritty, <laughs> I knew it was going to go this colour because of the bentonite, but that's okay because I quite like the colour. So what I'm going to do, instead of trying to work against it, what I'm going to do is see if I can, if it doesn't go too thick, because I don't know, I have no idea what this is going to do. If it doesn't go too thick, I've got some, what is it? Uh, black pearl mica. Uh, I'll um, might see if I can do a drop swirl, and just yeah. So it's not just like a boring. So if it gets too thick, then I'll just do some layers. But this is this is thick. If you didn't know, you would think that this has actually got um lie in it because it's like it's. Kind of like it a light trace almost. Um, yeah, it's very airy. I guess that's from the pumice, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I'm a bit excited about this. Uh, oh, I haven't soaked since Saturday, and it's Wednesday now, so I've been hanging out. But my son's been home, and I refused to soak while he was here. He's going, why, Mum? I'll be quiet. And I'm like, yeah, sure. He says, oh, I'll just, you know, yell stuff from the background occasionally. I said, yeah, and that is why I'm not videoing while you are here. So, because he's like me. He has a, he's a mental sense of humour. So, yeah. So he, he definitely inherited his mother's sense of humour, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really don't think he... Because he's... he's he, will, he would. He would just... He would like yell at mom. I need you to wipe my bum. I've finished on the toilet, or you know. And he's 22, so he that's the sort of thing he would do because he, he just would think that was funny. So yeah, you don't need that in your life. Sometimes I don't need that. <laughs> It's a lovely colour. Look at that. I mean, obviously it's darkened up because of the goat's milk. Alrighty, it looks like it's not going like stupidly thick, so we might be alright to do something interesting with it. I know, drop swirl's kind of boring, isn't it? But, you know, drop swirl it is. It's what I like to do. What I seem to be reasonably good at, so I don't know. Can you be good at a drop swirl or can you just be lucky? <laughs> this is the question. What is that in there? Oh, it's not. That's on the bench. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Who knows? It looks yummy, but I love how this looks. It's so cool. Alrighty then, let's get this mixed up. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I bought a new stick blender. Not this one. A new Preble one. Got it off eBay. It comes. Oh, is that enough? I think that's enough difference. It comes on um, tomorrow, I think. Oof, geez, that's strong. I forgot how strong lemon myrtle can be. Man, oh man. I've got mica all over the bloody bench. All right, where are you? You're over there. Let's come over to you. That's nice. That's not. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yummo. Excellent. All righty. Can you see? You can see. It is thickening. You can see that it's thickening. And I think it's going to go reasonably fast, so I won't fart ass around. Yeah, definitely ploppy. All right, let's get you going. Quick, 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 she says. Quick, quick, quick. Mm. 
Yes, I might not even be able to cut this with the um, with the soap cutter. Maybe I don't know. I have no clue. Whoa, that's some ploppiness right there. Oh, I don't know why I don't do that more often, to be honest, because I'm such a shit shot. <laughs> This on here like this and then a little bit of this on here like this like that and do something fancy with that in a minute oh god that's so friggin strong holy cow not necessarily in a good way Ugh. well I mean it will be when it cures but Lemon myrtle, it's so freaking strong. But it's so nice. I just I forget to use my essential oils a lot because I'm always like, oh, good new fragrance to try. I've got to try that. But yeah, I've got such lovely oh, essential oils. So I thought I'll give those a whirl today. You know. And then, you know, citrus is a sort of gender neutral, so. Don't sing, don't sing, don't freak, don't freak the peoples out. In that one. Went to the movies yesterday and watched Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children or whatever the bloody hell it's called. Yeah, yeah it was alright. I assume it's one of those things where if you're a fan, you're a fan, but having never heard of it or the books before. I had no expectations. It was all right. It was a kids' movie. There was no like I was waiting for some massive twist, you know. But that didn't happen. So it was nice. It was nice to go somewhere with Travis, my son. So I'm always happy to go somewhere with him. Anywhere, you know. If he's happy to be seen in public with me, I'm good. <laughs> you know. He, tell, he tells me I'm embarrassing all the time, so but, um, there was little kids um, in the movie theater, obviously, because it's a kid's movie, and um, I never shut up the whole friggin' movie. I don't know how parents let kids do that. Honestly, just tell them to shut up. And yeah, they, they talked through the whole movie, and I was so good, because I know it embarrasses him, I didn't say anything. For the whole movie, oh, I didn't say a word. I'm such a good mum. <laughs> such a good mum. Um, I might have to do a textured top on this, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, textured top it is. I don't even think... I'll um, go down the middle with that. That looks kind of nice. What do you reckon? I think it looks pretty good, eh? Hmm. I don't think these will take very long to set up at all, to be honest. But, like I said, having never done it before, I don't know. But I'm quite looking forward to it. To see. So This one won't be ready for my next market, but... Okay. Alrighty, that is my gardener's soap. I might call it something a little more interesting than that, but yeah, that's it. Easy peasy. I will see you for the cutting. <gasps> but, oh, look at that. Ah! I don't know, you might not see that. It just went stupid on the screen. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. Um, it's what is it? 3.30 in the morning. Um, went had a bit of a sleep. So this has been setting up now. Oh, I can't even remember what time. Quite a few hours. It's been like about eight hours or something. So, And it's solid. This, this is set. Like there's no doubt this is it's not even soft at all. So I'm a bit worried <laughs> whether or not I can cut it. 
with the cutter. So he's hoping it will cut. It's hard. There's no doubt about that. It's all right though. Not like a salt soap. Can't go all the way through though. So yeah. Alrighty. Now let's have a look what happened with our ploppy soap. It's a bit a bit boring so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think much happened with that. Looks good though. I mean it's nice and textury, so it'll be interesting to see how it um <clears throat> how it washes but yeah it's not oh yeah that's a bit better there you go look at that <clears throat> you have to excuse me I've only been up for probably five minutes I've got up for the cats and cut soap so I can't I sound like a fella <sighs> I sound like a fella at the best of times especially when I wake up so you know it's interesting it's not completely boring so but I didn't want you know anything too frou-frou because it's supposed to be a practical soap, not a not a um, fancy soap. So you don't want to have it all fancy schmancy. Although I would like to do one. I'll probably do one without the bentonite because I want to try and make it look like concrete. So I want like a nice pale grey. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely hard. There's no doubt about that. Okay, there you go. That's it. Oh, cut up. So it's just, a, just an interesting soap. It's a, it's a nice colour. I like the colour because it's not brown. It's kind of a, a greenish colour. So there you go. All right, guys. That's it.